Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Taurus, a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection this month. All right, this one is oh, weird. It's not weird, but it's kind of like weird. These readings are really, this month, weird. Anyway, all right, let's see. I'm going to pull these cards. I'm going to use these. Individual energy for Scorpio and individual energy for Taurus. Scorpio. Where are you right now in this relationship? Where are you? What are your current feelings? Cutting off separation. I want to walk away from something. I need to stop the pattern. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk to this person. Ooh. Okay, cut down. Eliminating some things, getting rid of situations. Tell me more, please. Soul connection, partnership. My relationship, I don't feel like it's doing great right now. You know, this vibe, this energy, the love, the connection we had before, I don't, it's not there. I don't see it. Now, mind you guys, uh, I want to be very clear about something. I am, one thing I did realize about this reading when I was looking at it, I'm looking at two very moody people, all right? And this is probably where Scorpio is at the moment. This is a, this is a moody couple, all right? It's weird. <laughs> all right. Ooh, wedding rings. Now, let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Union, marriage, soul connection, everlasting love, devotion, wedding rings. I don't know if I want to be married anymore. Or I've been waiting for somebody to propose to me for so long. I've been waiting for things to change in this relationship for so long. Okay. Taurus, where are you? What's going on, Taurus? Now, Taurus, I want your part of the story, please. Tell me what you think. Where are you now? What are your feelings at the moment in this relationship? I want the truth. Don't hold back. I know you're not. But you kind of will. <laughs> okay. Oh, not today. Mm. Boundaries, hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing. I'm still mad about this situation. They're still mad about something. So I see there's some boundaries. Somebody may have some, uh, taken some time. Let's see what else this is about. Ooh, that's a sharp personality. Ugh. Tell me more. Ooh. Poker face. Oh, boy. Let's see what this means. Taking a chance, risks, options. I'm not showing my hand, but I'm gambling. I'm trying to see how long I can deal with this. You know. All right. Hold on. Let's see what else we have. Give me more. One more, please. <clears throat> I will pull more if I need to. Ascending, learning, expansion, transcending, preparing for union, a new phase. You're not going to rush towards into anything, Scorpio. So, this is not for everybody. For some of you guys, if you're looking to rush towards into something, you can forget it. That is not how it's going to go with them. See, Taurus has a whole bunch of stuff they need to line up first before they actually do something like that. Right? Okay. Now, whatever's going on here with Scorpio, I'm showing that with the Eight of Cups, Scorpio's like, the only thing I, the only thing left for me to do is walk away from this situation. All right? I have to walk away. I need to leave you. All of this investment, everything that I've done, this is where I feel like the, I don't know, maybe I'm just... I feel like it's a little dramatic here. Everything that I've done, everything that I've invested, I have to walk away from. It was in vain. It's very dramatic. It's like, oh my God. One of those dramatic Scorpios. Sorry, Scorpio. All right, we're all dramatic Scorpios, but in different ways. This one is all like love, oh, you know, tears, and everything was in vain. Never mind the fact that, like, we did this, 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 and this, and this, and never mind the fact that you said you wanted something that was huge and I have to save three years for it. You want it now. It's not happening. Like that type of drama. 
Okay, but we also see here that in spite of Scorpio screaming and yelling or whatever they're doing and crying and stuff, we also see that Scorpio has been carrying a weight in some situation, right? So I see that here too with the Ten of, uh, the ten of Wands. Um, I feel like you guys have taken on a lot and it caused a lot of stress and exhaustion for you, but it feels like uh, there's a burden here of you taking on a lot that is it's being lifted. So you're not going to have to deal with these things anymore. You're going to actually delegate more and do less, whatever that means, right, in this situation. So I feel like some of this could have to do with finances because I am looking at Taurus with the Ace of Pentacles, right? So to me, that's a big focus on Taurus's career. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on. Yeah, so I see that there's a burden being lifted, but it's unexpected. It was something that Scorpio wasn't expecting. See, Scorpio's been expecting the, uh, the drama. I need to leave you. I have to keep, you know, all that. But then... Something unexpectedly just, it just happens. And it looks like it might have to do with finances and career. Now, I do see that there could be a separation for you guys here. Because I see it could be separation or, I don't know, wherever you guys, maybe you live far away from each other or something like that. Um, but I see that there are some messages that Scorpio is waiting for. And that's what I was talking about with the wedding rings. I've been waiting a long time. I'm emotionally invested in this situation with you this relationship with you. I want more of a commitment, right? I'm waiting for a proposal. So I feel like some of you guys are waiting to get married, waiting for something, right? And at this point, it's almost like you're obsessed with it because nothing else matters to you, Scorpio. I want this and I'm, this is not for every Scorpio and Taurus. This is a specific couple, all right? Whichever umbrella you fall under, whatever. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. But we do see Scorpio desiring some kind of if it is not a proposal, I'm going to say it's a declaration of love, meaning I'm waiting for you to, to say what it is I want you to say. Tell me, tell me you want to be with me, da, 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 but I feel like there's no talking, and that's also where we get the silent treatment. Silent treatment, now I'm waiting for messages from Taurus. Taurus, we're going to take a look at your energy in this relationship too, right? Now we see that there are some boundaries here, so that also to me, with the silent treatment, not talking, and the boundaries, that shows that maybe there's some disconnect, uh, maybe a temporary breakup, maybe some taking time to decide on some things because we see that here. You guys may need time apart to decide what you want to do or how you want the relationship to go or whatever, right? So I see that you have not been very nice lately, Taurus. I feel like you've had an attitude. I feel like you're fickle. I feel like you've been cursing folks out and saying wounding words, right? So... There's also this element of manipulation here, Taurus, where you may have been playing one against the other. Now, I don't know, who, you know, whatever other scenario that could be in. It could be a situation against one situation against the other, right? It could be like, all right, not a problem. You, you don't want to talk to me? I'm not going to reach out to you. See, that's where we get boundaries. If Scorpio initiates the silence, I'm not answering my phone. Then you know what? You don't have to answer your phone. What I'm going to do is not call you. As a matter of fact, I'm not coming over there. I'm not bringing flowers. It's kind of like this tit for tat sort of energy that I'm getting, right? Now, I also see that Scorpio may have been pulling a weight a lot. Now, I don't know how old this couple is or whatever, or how long you guys have been together, but it seems like it's been enough time where we understand that Taurus has been very focused on their career, very focused on the firm's foundation. And that's what I also, that's what I was saying earlier. They're not going to just jump into something where things aren't stable. They need to feel a certain way. Um, they need to make sure their finances are right. See, they're, 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 this is what they're focused on. They're not focused on getting you, making sure that you're, no. Because Taurus is like, if I put you in a situation and, and my finances aren't right, I'm not going to feel right. So we have, at the end of the day, we have two different people having different experiences, yet the same experience at different times. I, I know that's a lot to take in, but that's kind of the way it is. It seems like everything is like, when I feel this way, you feel that way. Da -da 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 -da. It's kind of weird, right? So I do see here that there's going to be some success for you, right? All right. Well, you know what? Let me go back here. With the King of Swords, because I wanted to say this part to you guys too. The cursing, the swearing, the wounding words, that seems to be the, the vibe one minute. Or you could be the other Taurus here who is on some sort of a spiritual quest and people are antagonizing you. I don't know how many that's going to be for, but there's something that you might believe 
And people were like, yeah, well, ha, 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 you're a joke, like that. So some of you guys could be experiencing that too, right? But <laughs> in some situations, I feel like Scorpio's like, I need to walk away. But I just wanted to point that out for Taurus. Now, we also see here that Taurus has been on something where they're trying to improve their stability. Now, whenever you see the Ace of Pentacles, it talks about having a new job, a raise, a promotion. I'm making new investments. I'm trying to finalize how I want to live or how I make my living. It's something like that. And I feel like this has been a big focus for you guys, having a greater stability. All right? I feel like, though, there's going to be some delayed material gains. But you are going to have success. And because there's success, if this is a couple that is like together right now, this is where we say Scorpio is going to have this burden lifted because in a sense, Taurus does gain success, but it's delayed, but it's there. And I think it's something that comes over time and it allows Scorpio to release those responsibilities. Like, yeah, I get to keep my, I don't know, I get to keep my 20 bucks a month for cable because now Taurus can actually pick it up or something like that. I feel like there's a growing stability here, but we also see based off Taurus's feelings, because we have the Ten of Cups reverse, it talks about the obstacles, all right? Achieving obstacles and achieving happiness. See, some people only need to be happy in one area. So for Scorpio, I'm going to say you are very happy about the love part of it. It's all emotions, right? Because you notice you guys have, you guys both are in sync with the world in a good way, not the negative part of the world, right? But you guys are also isolated in a sense from each other. If that makes any sense. Almost it's like, it's like you're developing yourselves as loners, right? But you're being advised to listen to your inner selves. I don't think this relationship is going anywhere. I just think that we have somebody who's more focused on love and emotions, right? And then we have Taurus who's more focused on the stability. Like, I'm not going to go and get mad if I ain't right with the finances. Why would I do that? But you have somebody who's obsessed with love, and that's all they can think about. They don't care. They'll sleep under the park bench. Just as long as they have a ring and we're together and all that crap. So it's kind of like that. This is the funniest thing. Anyway, all right, let me see what else is going on. Let me, um, let me get these cards. Ooh. So both you guys with the full card are fighting to get to your authentic selves. You guys both want to present your authentic selves in this relationship and be as upright as possible and say I don't like the way you cook beans I don't like it I need you to cook them 10 minutes longer instead of just sitting there and eating them grainy right so I feel like there's an element of honesty but I feel like there are a lot of shifts I feel like there's somebody chasing a career there's somebody trying to do better trying to while well, we have somebody else who's just has a completely different mission but you guys still vibe well there's still some sort of an, an understanding here right and there's also a willingness to oh the full card have fresh hope, a new path, a new beginning. But I just feel like how you guys get there comes in moody phases where one day, you know what you are today? No, but I know who you are and I know who you're going to be tomorrow too. Da -da 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 -da. So a little bit of back and forth, but the spitefulness. I'm going to be quiet. I ain't saying nothing to you, but all right, I'm not going to, I'm not, get out of here. I'm not, you think I'm sending you flowers? Get out of here. <laughs> Let's see if the energy changes under the full card because... We see that you guys are looking for something new. There could be a new beginning here. I don't think... Yeah, okay, so you guys are arguing. But I don't think you're, like, broken up, broken up, seriously. The full card. Give me love, please. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yep, we kind of knew that. Both you guys are waiting. Waiting and working on these things. Or, you know, I feel like for Scorpio, allowing yourself to be in la-la land here you know, dreaming of whatever this nonsense is. But then, you know, we also have a realistic person here, Taurus, who's trying to get things lined up for this. All right, let go of control issues. Allow, allow this situation to play out naturally. Um, I feel like there's something having to do with anxiousness here. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you guys keep putting the pressure on each other, somebody's going to buckle, like, walk away entirely. It seems like it already happened. But we don't want, you know, you want to tread lightly. We don't want them to really walk off into the sunset, Scorpio, do we? Mm -mm -mm. One more. <laughs> Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. We knew that. Mm -hmm. We knew that because I feel like you guys are in separation right now. However, 
I feel like you guys are going to come back together. All right. At some point. I don't know when. But I do want to get a couple of, let's get some, let's get some um, messages. Whew. All right. So granted, this whole reading is not going to resonate with everybody. But you can take certain pieces of the stories or whatever. If you can resonate some leaves, leave the rest behind. Is that what they say? Yeah. All right. So. Give me a message from Scorpio to Taurus. From Scorpio to Taurus. Now, you know, these cards can be rabbit holes. And then, you know, you think you have these innocent characters, and then the shade comes out. Mm, whatever. Anyway, all right. Scorpio, what message do you have for Taurus? What message do you have for Taurus? Let's have a nice dinner together and enjoy ourselves afterwards. Okay. Scorpio, having a good time, having dinner, la la land, you want to have dinner and have a good time after a while, I'm, okay, well, you know what, Taurus Mike can fly, who knows, let's see, what does Taurus have to say, what does Taurus have to say, <clears throat> I have a lot going on in my life right now, and I can't give you the attention you deserve, and that's exactly what I was saying, I told you, you got one in La La Land, and the other one's like, listen, I'm trying to build a stability here. I'm trying to get something done. I can't take you out for dinner and all of this. If you let me do this, there's going to be millions of dinners. However you want them. They'll be delivered, catered. Just let me, let me cook this chicken right now. All right, so I see that there's somebody here who needs to, because you guys, Taurus has goals. And Scorpio is here to... I, Scorpio is here to help you escape when you have a minute, but you don't have a minute. Ugh, anyway, all right, that, that's all I got for you guys. Do I want to, let me pull a heart card. Okay. Now with this one, I feel like I fussed for 17 minutes. I don't care, whatever. I got a minute. I got a minute. Let me stop. All right, give me a card, please. Give me a card, please. Give me a card for this couple. What do they need to know? Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Huh. I could get that. You guys are going to end up together. But is it Scorpio, like I said before, you listen, go find something to do. Let's have dinner. You know, all this nonsense. I'm like, listen, I got to go to work. But the romance will come. I feel like you guys are not necessarily together at the moment because it could have be something with business, work, aggravation in a sense. But whatever. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I'm just looking, guys. I'm looking to make sure I... This is all drama, Scorpio. Sit yourself down. You ain't going nowhere. I'm leaving. You abandoned. Get out of here. You're not. All right. Bye, guys. See you soon.